Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a triple unboxing for you. Not one, not two, but three unboxings for you guys that I'm super excited about. And if you guys haven't liked, commented, and subscribed yet, make sure you hit that notification button, click subscribe, it's totally free. This haul is really epic. Um, one is even all the way from Japan. I'm super excited about this, so let's just get into it right away. All right, let's get into this. The first one, which one should I do first? All right, quick backstory on this bag. Um, I actually had this color in my collection, but it wasn't mine. I bought it for a sweet, amazing member in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in. Hi, Janet. She's all the way in Australia, so for a while I was buying bags for her and shipping them off to her because they're really, really hard to get there and a lot more expensive than what they are here. So when I had to send this off, I was really, really sad because my collection lacked this color. She is, she's got her. 1941 dust bag. Always got to do the smell test, you guys, because some people's noses are more sensitive than others. So some people don't, they're either used to whatever's going on or whatnot, and, or sometimes they just don't disclose it. But this passes it. I'm very excited for what's in here. Let's get into it. I can see a peek of the color already, and it's just as I remember it. There's a, we got another bag in here. Oh, so smart. Okay. Oh, amazing packaging. Okay. All right. So you guys can see this color is stunning. It is gorgeous. It is the 1941 red, very highly sought after. And it's hard to come by, but when you do come by it, it's usually a ridiculous price and i'm glad that I'm part of such an amazing group that offers bags to each other at such amazing savings of what we got it for and this is amazingly packaged just like the quick right away the clochette is wrapped in a pandora little dust bag there genius so you guys when you guys ship rogues don't leave them outside and these little thingies because you guys know how usps ups fedex dh not dhl dhl is a <clears throat> we'll get into that later um but that will leave marks in the leather which we don't want to do and look these handles are perfectly laid right on top with tissue paper separating them so they do not dent genius thank you so much for that and it's ripped even into the pockets. I'm gonna use this. Don't throw this stuff away. You guys know you could stuff your bags with it or use it for shipping purposes. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Let's undo the clochette because that is very important to the look of it. That's something I wish they would carry over to the current generation of the rogues, but unfortunately they did away with it, but we improvise. Look at that, the hang tag and the clochette are both in there. Isn't that just a simply stunning color? Looks like, are they? No, okay. I love this color. I love, love this color. I, you guys know for the longest time I was always a gunmetal fan. I'm a more of a brass fan now. Can you imagine how, I mean, this bag is gorgeous. Can you imagine how much more gorgeous this would be, though, if it had that brass hardware, the brass zipper, the brass rivets? That would be stunning. But doesn't make this any less of a gorgeous bag because look at that. 1941 red bag. <whistles> Got, of course, the gold stamp. Because look, look at that. Look at the gold foil on that red. It just simply looks gorgeous. This bag is in really good condition. I don't even know if this bag was actually even used. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. So if it just can't get any better, it does. So the previous, um, the previous owner of this Rogue actually made these little cards 
and these are really really good like they're in a little id case these are really good for you guys if you don't like having your bags on display like i do you're worried about dust or the sun you guys keep them out of the sun if you're in a really really dusty area if you're in a really really dusty area i wouldn't suggest leaving them out for long without dusting them off i mean if you're constantly dusting you'll be fine. But if you let the dust settle, that could cause issues, specifically with like the stitching and whatnot. So the previous owner of this seems like she put these in a dust bag and after being in the dust bag, this would be clipped on the outside. So you know exactly what bag you're looking for. So you're not discouraged to um, dig around in your dust bag to try to figure out what's in there. Straps, you know, I have to add this. I feel like it adds more interest to the outside. Look how much interest and more fun that has added to there. And I'm over the moon about this. And actually, this is kind of a hint to what else is in that other box there. Um, I This is just as gorgeous as I remember it being. And I can't wait to actually use this. Look at my collection behind me. This is a very small fraction of my collection that's behind me, you guys. And... I don't see any bright, bright red. I have a couple Oxblood bags and I have one that I think is maybe like Bordeaux, um, but nothing bright red like this. This is a gorgeous bright red, a 1941 moment. I'm gonna get this stuffed up exactly how I want her to be. Look at that. No stuffing whatsoever and she is perky as can be. I'm obsessed with this color. This bag is very rare and when you do find it, it is usually very expensive. So another amazing member, pop this up. All right, you guys keep in mind that this bag needs some work. It has corner wear, it has pop stitches, things like that, but I am going to work on it myself. I'm going to send it off to have it worked on and have it fully restored back to its original glory. Coach does this, but I've we've all been doing it even longer. Um, these leathers last such a long time and just give it some love. You'd be surprised on the condition that it'll come back to. And I'm going to team up with somebody. I'm going to do a separate video and have this bag all done for you guys. So you guys can see how I got it, how the process went and what the outcome was. Because you guys, just because you got a little damage on your bag doesn't mean you got to throw it away and start new because some of these bags like this one is hard enough to come by and rare that you need it. Okay. Oh. Okay, I can really see it. And you guys, this came from Japan. All the way from Japan and it got here in like three days. UPS, USPS. They can't get these things here in the same state in that amount of time. And this came all the way from Japan. Kidding me? Francis, if you're watching, thank you so much for the opportunity to own this rogue and this little card. Like, how cute is that? That little lamp. Oh, I got lost a little leg. A handwritten note. Oh, I hope you love your new rogue, Raphael. Thank you and Happy New Year, Francis. Thank you so much, Francis. You're amazing. I love your handwriting too. Oh my gosh, this color, this color, this color, this color. I've never seen this color in person, you guys. Oh my gosh. Stunning. Stunning. The handles are wrapped individually as well with bubble wrap. Guys, look at that. I, oh my God, you guys, I am so excited. I never thought I would have this in my collection. Oh, let me, let me have a moment. Hold please. It's just to take this all in this color. This color is river. This is gorgeous. This is the Coach X NASA collab that they did. And oh, this gorgeous, gorgeous color of river is absolutely stunning. And I love it with the black there. 
with the red handles. <sighs> let, me, let me let me see here. Okay. But after me and the person that's gonna help zhuzh this bag back to life, get done with it, it's gonna look brand new. And the price that I paid for it is ridiculous for something that is so rare. Look at these, you guys, look at these patches individually. Like this one has rainbow in it, like rainbow glitter. There's glitter here, there's glitter there. Oh my, glitter all there. Like, I'm like at a loss for words here. So let's get into this. It's got black, soft black suede inside. Shoulder strap. You guys, this packaging. The clochette and the hang tag are separately packaged. Francis, you are amazing. I can't believe how amazingly packaged this is. And look, the shoulder straps, the hardware's wrapped on those too. There she is in all her glory. Like I said, this bag is used. She has been very loved, but it is okay. I have a lot of faith that this bag is going just to snap right back and I'll be able to reshape her, get some of her shape back. I'll be able to get a lot of um, these corners touched up. And like I said, like, you guys, this bag is definitely pre-loved but the price that I paid for it totally justifies its condition. And I am going to get this all done up. Just the fact that I was able to have the opportunity to own this NASA collab that Coach did with this Rogue is nuts it's bonkers it's crazy and it's even more stunning in person than in pictures and i'm just over the moon this color river is gorgeous i actually fun fact i ordered the backpack from this collection but um <clears throat> i ordered it from the real real and they shipped it and everything and then the ups lost it ups has lost so many of my packages but Normally what happens is they'll show up like one to three months later randomly on my doorstep already after I've gotten a refund, but not the backpack of this. This disappeared magically and those backpacks are very hard to come by too. Not as hard to come by as these. These rogues, either they were like less produced models for this collab or the people who normally have these hold on to them for a very, very, very long time. And when they do sell them, the prices are astronomical. So the fact that I have this in my collection is just mind boggling because I never thought I would have the opportunity to unless I paid two, $3,000 for it, which I wasn't going to, but look at this color. Look at those handles. And I have a lot of faith that a lot of this is all going to come back out and it's gonna look simply simply even more stunning all right let's move on to the next one all right last one let's see let's see let's see 1941 dust bag if you can see through there yes 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 okay i've been on the hunt for this color for a very long time i've never had this specific bag in my collection but i've seen so many different colors and color blocking and i actually seen this on the reloved portion of coach.com where they take old bags and they fix them up and they resell them instead of getting rid of them got a little fluffies everywhere um so this was available on the reloved part of it and I was this close to buying it because I've been looking for the color everywhere and I can't find it. But then this popped up in one of the groups that I'm in and I'm happy that it did because I got it at an even better price. All right. Ooh. 
this is the front. All right, there we are. So this is the Coach 1941 barrel bag in black with the brass hardware. For some reason, you figured like a black bag is very easy to come by, but not in the barrel bag. I don't know if it was less production or the people that got it just really hold on to and really love them. Cause I know a lot of people really love barrel bags, but I personally in my collection have never owned a barrel bag. So I just don't know what to expect from it, but I do hear that these can hold a lot more than what you think they can. And that's what I'm really excited for. Look at that. How cute is that? And the black with the brass is such a classic color combination. And then with the gold stitching, I really like the gold stitching. Some people don't like it, but I really like it. I, to me, it makes it really like elegant. It really elevates the bag. But let's get into this. Let's see. Okay, I did buy her pre-loved she said it was very gently used um one thing that i would do differently though when you guys are shipping these 1941 hang tags these things are heavy and it's metal and if these are squished in any way they can dent the leather so if you guys are going to be reselling um go ahead and tuck this inside then you don't have to worry about it because i've have heard of some stories where you know things get shipped straps whatnot and there's indentations and so you don't have to deal with like returns and whatnot but what got me on this you guys know how much i love rogues this has rogue handles i love these luggage handles and anything that has these handles i'm goo goo over for you know i'm like obsessed with We've got a little turn lock moment here. It looks like you can fit the glove tan leather on the inside as well. I love that black and tan like color contrast. To me, it's so elegant. It just reminds me of a nice like luxury car. Now I'm going to give this a little stuffing once I get her all conditioned up. What I like to do is condition my bags um, and stuff them up really well, like full, full into the shape that you want it. And as that moisturizer dries down, it's actually going to help keep the shape of that leather. Um, and that's just like a good pointer for you guys. Genuine glove tan leather. There at the bottom. I kind of wish this had feet. Like, I feel like this would just elevate it that much more. Not that it needs any help. Look how freaking stinking gorgeous this is. This is going to be an everyday carry for me. I'm going to stuff this. I'm going to moisturize it. And I'm probably going to immediately after it dries 24 hours, I'm going to move right into it because I've been on the hunt for this for years. Like since this debuted, I was on the fence. This was before I was really big into rogues and I just waited too long and it sold out. So I looked and hunted and hunted and hunted and I was not able to get my hands on one like there's a gray color block that has like baby blue and black in it there is even a um what do you call uh, there's a wicker version of this uh there's white there's honeycomb there's just so many different colors of this bag out there that I see pop up but never this black one and until I did see it pop up on the Relove site portion on coach.com and I was this close to buying it, it was $325. Um, I think retail on this was like $395 maybe. I could be wrong, but I was just like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And something told me not to, so I just, I didn't. And then this popped up like a couple days afterwards in one of my Facebook groups at an even better price. And... I don't mind putting the love into these bags because you guys know me in Glove 10 Leather. This stuff is amazing. It is very resilient and it can come back from a lot. And I also thought, you know, this would, what, how cute would this be as a coach create piece? Like if you don't want it to be so like elegant looking, um, cover this with rivets, cover this with pins, and it's going to add a lot, a lot more of a fun element to it. I was thinking about just actually doing this pocket here, just with like the mini stud rivets, like all over, just caked on like a la Christian Louboutin. But I don't know yet. I think I'm going to enjoy it for a little while like this first, and then we'll go from there. Let's get into the inside. Look at these. Oh, I love these handles. Okay. There's no stuffing in here. I do recommend sending these off with stuffing. That way you guys see like there's like the little... If it's in here, this is 
gonna help it a lot with the shipping for sure. Here's a crossbody strap. There's another chain inside. I don't know why, because the chain is on it out here, but there's another little BB chain I could probably use definitely for um, some of my little smaller items. Sometimes the you do lose these, but uh, there is, you, there's like these little like shrink tubings actually you guys can put on these because these just pop right off. So if you don't want to lose your, especially your 1941 hang tag, which are hard to come by and when you do, they're expensive, especially black and gold brass like this is like hard to come by and expensive when you do. Um, you can put the shrink tubing over it and then it's clear. You don't have to worry about it. It won't come off unless you break that chain actually, but so this has the 1941 jacquard lining. I love that. It's got a zipper compartment on the side. I have heard so much about this bag. Like it is small but mighty because of its shape. It actually holds quite a bit. Right. It's already open. So we got one pocket here. Got the main compartment there. And then a slip pocket there. So you can put your card case. Um, let me see if there's a style number on here. So this is a coach barrel bag, small but mighty. It's novel shape made it an instant icon when it was introduced in 19, looks like 1965. This modern version brings fresh attitude to the original's much loved shape. And uh, style number 78809. So you guys, like I said, you can find these on the resale sites and uh, there's so many different colorways to choose from. This is a hard color to come by. So I, if you want the black, I wish you the most luck in purchasing and finding one. Let's see, I haven't looked at the strap yet. So it seems like it's a fairly decently sized strap. I do like the hardware that is on there. It's more on the chunkier side, which I like. If you guys have a duffel, you guys know what I'm talking about. Those things have some chunky hardware. And I, you guys know that I'm gonna like dress this up with different straps, different charms. Actually, if you guys watch on my uh, YouTube page, I did a YouTube short which is like a under 60 second video unboxing of a charm. I actually have that here. Let me go get it. I think it's gonna look so cute on this bag. This, this puts it more into perspective how big this charm really is because in my shorts video, you can't really make it out, but look at this big old charm. It's got the ram head on there. Um, it's got a metal feather. It's got a bunch of shearling hair. It's got a horn. And it's got a leather feather also with the studs on it. I think this is so cool. And this gigantic tassel. This is such a cool, unique piece and very hard to come by, you guys. Like, I've seen this a long, 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 long time ago and I haven't really seen many cents. Every now and then they do pop up on the resale site, but very expensive. The retail on this charm, just for a charm, was $300, $295. And I usually see it pop up more than that. But I could totally... Look at that. That just adds so much extraness to it and I you guys know me I'm extra on extra and I absolutely love that and it jingles this is like perfect I even got my beat chain I thought that would be cute I mean I'm sure not everything at all the same time maybe maybe not who knows <laughs> I don't know I I like it. I like a lot of extra. And I mean, if I'm not gonna go crazy with another strap, if I'm just gonna use this strap, then I would definitely use these two together. Um, it just adds some whimsy and a lot of interest to the bag because it's like, what is that? Is that just a ball of hair? There's a ram's head on there and all this jingling around. If it is a little too much for you, look. Look at that. That looks like it should have came on it. This is, that is gorgeous. That beat chain on there. 
I love satchels like this with these top handles. And if you guys are a fan of the Rogue satchel, buckle up because a little birdie has told me that it is making a comeback and I'm super excited for that because to me it gives me Louis Vuitton speedy vibes but in all leather and if they come back out with like the full suede lining of the first generation Rogue Satchels I'm gonna have to have one in every single color I'm so excited about that this is gonna be a great everyday bag for me I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna moisturize this up I'm gonna stuff it and then after a day or two I'm gonna move right into it because look how classic this looks look how elegant elevated this looks the black with the brass hardware is just absolutely stunning and I'm glad to have this in my collection finally after all these years I'm I'm so over the moon and I mean the other two bags the 1941 red is stunning in person and that space robe the NASA robe you guys like that is a deal of a lifetime. I'm gonna show it a lot of love and it's going to look amazing. These are all such amazing pieces. I'm gonna go play with them right now, get them all moisturized and just show them some love. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.